Can you see how yellow this is? Oh yeah, there you go. I've had this hat for 12 years. <laughs> look at focus. Oh, look, I'm so bright. Oh, look, I'm not so bright. I've had this hat for 12 years. I really have to wash it. Welcome back to Every Disney Movie Ever. My name is Jess and I'm watching every Disney movie ever. Today I'm going to talk about Return from Witch Mountain. Return from Witch Mountain is a 1978 theatrical release. It is the sequel to Escape to Witch Mountain, which I did a video on. The link will be in the description. You should watch that too. Okay, it's directed by John Huff, cinematography by Frank Phillips, editing by Bob Bring, music by Lalo Schifrin, and it's written by Malcolm Marmerstein. John Huff was a very famous British director and then he moved to America and hit a career slump. He wanted to work for Disney so bad and he worked on so many films that never got made. Frank Phillips and Malcolm Armstein I covered in the video I made about Pete's Dragon, so if you want to learn all about them, the video link will be in the description. Bob Bring is best known for Heart to Heart, Matt Houston, and Zapped. Lalo Schifrin is best known for the Mission Impossible theme, Bullet, Enter the Dragon, and the Dirty Harry films. The guy's really decorated. His music is everywhere. You should definitely read up on him. The film stars Kim Richards, Ike Eisenman, Bette Davis, and Christopher Lee. Kim Richards plays Tia, and I covered her in the video about the whiz kid and the mystery at Riverton. The link will be in the description. Ike Eisenman plays Tony, and I already covered him in the Escape to Witch Mountain video, which is in the description. Bette Davis plays Letha, and she is one of Hollywood's greatest actresses of all time. If you don't know who Bette Davis, Betty Davis is, you are Look it up. She's best known for All About Eve, Whatever Happened to Baby Jane, Dark Victory, Now Voyager. Just look her up. Come on. Christopher Lee plays Dr. Victor Gannon. He's best known for Lord of the Rings, Star Wars, Dracula, Hannah, The Wicker Man. It's Christopher Lee. He also looks so different in this movie. I'm used to Lord of the Rings, Christopher Lee, and he looks very different in this movie. It's been three years since Escape to Witch Mountain and the kids are huge now. The scene where Tia's being introduced to the earthquake gang and they're all having a conversation about where her brother is or might be or whatever is done entirely in close-ups and mostly singular close-ups and it's so awkward. I was watching the scene and I didn't mind the close-ups at first but then the scene kept going on and I was like, okay, we're a little too close now. Like, let's break it up. Let's show that some of them together. Let's give me a wide shot or something. Like, I was starting to get claustrophobic with these kids just talking to each other like that. It got a little monotonous and a little bit too much for me. And uh, they didn't have a lot of shot selection in that scene, I take it. So the first and second film both have similar themes in people wanting to use their powers for bad things. The first one, both kids were being captured and they were running. So the whole movie was basically like a chase for the kids and trying to get to Witch Mountain, where this one is much more Tia's trying to save her brother because he was taken and is being controlled, like a mind control chip situation, which was very interesting and a really cool dynamics because she has to like both fight her brother and try to save him. So that was really interesting. And then there is some chasing partaking, but it's both of the main characters are doing a different kind of chase. So that kind of added a mix. There is a car chase mind you. But I can't believe I'm about to say this, but I think I liked this one better. I think I liked this movie better than the first one. The first one is very good. I really enjoyed it, but I didn't like it at a certain point. Like it hit a certain point and I was like, okay, I'm over it. Like we get it. This one, I was in till the end. I really enjoyed this film. I don't think they're both incredibly high quality, but this one, you know, wasn't the best but I did really enjoy it. My favorite part of this movie, hands down, is Tia saves everything. She saves herself, she saves Tony, she saves the entire country from a nuclear explosion, she saves a teacher from losing his job, she saves the day all around, and I'm so here for that. I really, really loved that. Um, otherwise, I have really nothing else to say about the movie because uh, I liked it. I do think I liked it better than the first one. I don't know why. I just did. I enjoyed it thoroughly. I would watch it again. I think I'm going to give it seven aliens out of 10. Our total movie count is. Parent, that's home, crack count are still the same. If you want to keep up with what movie I'm watching when, follow me on Instagram or Twitter and you'll find out what movie I'm watching when. I put up videos every Monday and Friday. Until next time, comment, like, subscribe, and I'm not sure that you are. So you do you and don't be Dr. Gannon or Letha about it. Wow. <laughs>